Hi, this is Susan Levin Tarot. Cancer, this is going to be your reading. It says Cancer Singles Reading. Okay, so let's see what energies we might be working with. Hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Wow, Libra showed up twice here. Okay, so I feel like I really need to talk about that. Okay. Okay, so you've got the Sun card. They suggest it is you. You're feeling a lot lighter and brighter. And um, if you haven't, uh, once the things go direct, you will start feeling that. Okay, so of course we have that. Pisces moon here in the next uh, couple of days, so you might be in your emotions, but the key is to use that moon energy to get creative and dream up a new reality if you wish to do so. Okay. Your immortal spirit, purpose, destiny is involved. So this is yourself, the, the sun, full illumination. The energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. Okay. All right, so I feel like this is you with loving devotion and light. Okay, and you're full on in cancer mode, okay? So that's a good sign, yay. <laughs> okay, all right, so, okay, so here's 12th house and 10th house. This is the area of your life, this is a 12th house, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. Okay, so if you had some things with love that didn't go your way, I felt like you turned your focus on other uh, things, okay? Uh, other things that you were creating. Okay, so the 10th house, your achievements and status in the outside world. Okay, so um, how people perceived you was uh, on your mind. Okay, all right, so, uh, okay, so Libra showed up and Sagittarius. So uh, perhaps some of you all were in some kind of uh, uh, um, judicial, like some kind of court thing. Okay, all right, with the Libra and the Sagittarius here, and you were needing to balance out some energies, okay, and temper your emotions to kind of raise your frequency so that you would have a higher outcome in your court case, okay. All right, so with that relationship, okay, you had to kind of look this is Chiron, your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. Okay, so, but this also is a, um, a factor on how relationships can uh, play out. So, uh, I was suggesting you could go, you could get an astrologer, or you could go online and uh, plug in, they have free places where you can plug in your birth date, and then you could see your Chiron placement. Okay, so uh, that's a suggestion. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so some of you uh, were also looking to find new ways to kind of improve your physical apparatus. Okay, maybe you felt like um, with all the things that were going on in the outside world, this was on the back burner, but I feel like this is in the front now. Health is wealth, right? Okay. All right, okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, Pluto, so this is past energy and some of it may be still trying to completely clear out. Okay, so this is your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So yeah, this is about rebirth and renewal. So some of you that had entanglements that you didn't want, Pluto was kind of uh, helping uh, clear that out. So what what does that mean? Okay, so you might have tapped into that uh, Density of Capricorn your opposite sign Okay uh, So you might have felt a little bipolar there at times. Okay, so that's the Capricorn energy that you tapped into to pull in this Pluto energy to clear some of it out so you had space to uh, bring in what you really wanted. Okay, so that's a big transformation. And I see that this transformation as a success with the sun here in the forefront. Okay? All right, so that's good news. So uh, that means you have room for love. Okay, so fourth house, your home and the roots of your being. Okay, so uh, see how there's a hand here and a little hand, and that is coming up in this card too. So I feel like whether you have children or not, Cancer, I feel like you trying to see what kind of legacy you want to leave okay so i feel like that's really important and connecting to for some of you who are uh don't have any children or fur babies okay um this may be you wanting to connect uh to the big house earth energy right okay now Let's look at this Libra energy. Okay, so. I did a Libra reading and I did an Aries reading and both signs had a high potential for love and loving union. And so this is showing up here. So that's what that means. Okay, there's a big potential there. Okay, the thing that you might look out for is, okay, Libra is the idealist, keeping it too real, right? And not uh, allowing that magical element, the fifth, uh, fifth, element the ethers right okay so um if you all were in a relationship with someone who had a, a strong pisces energy so that could have been like a virgo or pisces or anyone who had it in their chart okay uh, that might have turned you off if you broke up and then so that was like you wanting to be the idealist and, and uh, be keep keeping things real not dreamy or um, not having an idealized version of love but with that said I would s suggest to keep that magic element uh, there right the open for the possibilities and the magic okay the ethers okay It says diplomacy is lighting up for me. Diplomacy and harmony, okay, with these. So you might go see the Libra or Aries reading that I did. That might also open up some things for you. So, <clears throat> and there's that. <clears throat> All right. Now, here we go. 12th house, surrendering. 
Okay, so uh, sometimes, you know, when things don't work out the way we wanted, we have to just surrender it, right? And let the higher inner being uh, wor work out the rest of it, right? Okay, and surrendering your subconscious mind, what is hidden and unknown for the future, and just be comfortable with it, right? That's part of the fun of being here is uh, the surprises, okay? Um, if we knew everything ahead of time, uh, then uh, the, the fun would uh, probably... <laughs> That would be more like being an angel. Okay, so. All right, so um, let's see. Okay, so the other thing I'm picking up here is releasing past baggage from, okay, so if some of you were married several times, release that, okay. Um, and uh, if you are in relationships and you're still holding on to it, little things in each relationship, release that. Release it all. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. So forgiving and releasing. Okay. Okay. Here's a phrase. I forgive myself and go free. All right. So I feel like some of you might be interested in Sagittarius, okay, because it's uh, the Venus transit is in Sagittarius, so that may be feel uh, more comfortable to you, that love, fun, loving, fun, and playfulness, okay. But with that said, Sagittarius may have some things from the past that they're holding on I'm picking up. So, okay, be mindful of that. Okay, so... Um, it says here enthusiastic okay so uh charging up your enthusiasm for life right being more happy-go-lucky and adventurous and honest so honesty takes a certain degree of being open right so learning how to <laughs> this is bareback here i don't know about that <laughs> but um a, a willingness to open yourself up right okay um Okay, so let's check into tarot. Okay, four of wands and hangman. Okay, so it seems like everybody's had the potential to go back with a past person. I feel like that's what that hangman is. Okay, here. Okay, so not making a decision and just being happy-go-lucky. That's what I got here. Okay, uh, just kind of uh, feeling the waters. Okay, your emotional waters and moving that way. Okay, so uh, I feel like some of that's Halloween celebrations. I picked up Thanksgiving and, uh, okay, in winter. Okay, some get-togethers in winter season. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like just feeling your emotions and kind of moving through that flow. <clears throat> what? Oh, my goodness, look. That, okay, so taking, you know, moving as you sure up your emotional uh, energy. Okay, here's a page of pinnacles that could make small gestures towards what it is you desire. And taking that, okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, you got ten of pinnacles and ten of cups over here. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the key. Get out of your comfort zone. Uh, get out of your shell and get out and have fun. Uh, consider invitations that you receive and move with it. Okay. 
and then um, and not just consider it but move with it okay it could be a small thing okay but that first step forward is going to help you move with a faster momentum okay all right so that will get you out of this um, kind of non-moving energy okay all right so that's the key all the assess the the invitations that you get and i would find a way to put it in your calendar because those steps forward um okay are going to help you and here's the judgment card that's what i was saying there's that potential for the past person to come back okay so um the key is uh just uh you know be happy go lucky Okay, and be in that light energy and fun, playful energy, okay? And then um, that will help you raise your frequency to pull in whatever it is you desire. Here's your Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, okay, Cancer? And that is magnificent. I leave that with you, Cancer. Thank you.